Hey everybody, it's David. Just want to come to y'all today and read some Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verses 17 through 32. And we read, verse 17. Verse 17 of verse, or Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17. The true way of life brings discipline, but he who hates reproof is a fool. The lips of the wicked are full of deceits, and he who utters a curse is a fool. The wicked cannot be delivered by a multitude of words, but he who refrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is like choice silver. The heart of the wicked is full of bitterness. The lips of the righteous are full of mercy, but the fools die for want of wisdom. The blessings of the Lord bring riches, and there shall be no sorrow in them. It is sport to a fool to mischief. I'm sorry, it is a sport to the fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. The wicked shall be dragged to ruin, but the desire of the riches shall be granted. As the whirlwind passes suddenly, so wicked men perish and be no more. But the righteous are an everlasting fountain. And as unripe grapes are hurtful to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so does wickedness hurt those who indulge in it. See, I know that we make mistakes, y'all, but when we live a lifestyle of sin and we're not actively fighting against sin, it's, uh, it's dangerous because it says... That is, that is so dangerous, that wickedness is so dangerous, and it hurts those who indulge in it. So, indulging in any sin is going to bring us the wages of that sin. So, Lord God, keep us out of sin in Jesus' name. Verse 27, reverence for the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be moved, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but a perverse tongue shall be silenced. The lips of the righteous know what is good, but the mouth of the wicked speaks perverse things. Lord God, I just thank you for all your blessings. I pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every one of us today, Lord, that uh, you'd be mighty in our lives, God, that we would deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow you this day. I pray, Lord God, that you bless everybody and their families and their homes, God, that you would help them to be a better witness to their families, Lord God, especially during these times where there are so many dangerous things that people are doing. Uh, help us to be a voice of reason. And uh, the word says that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. So God, I just pray that you would speak prophetically through us, speak prophetically through your believers, God to help others, to help our family, to help our friends, to help the lost. God, help give us words in season, Lord, so we can be a light to those, Lord, that are in darkness and a blessing to those that need a helping hand. God, we thank you for all that you're doing, Lord, and we look forward to what amazing things you're going to be doing in these end times, God. I pray that you would use us and that you would build up your church and fit us together, Lord, like puzzle pieces, God, until we are built and we are the image of the invisible God. We are in Jesus Christ. Let us be one in you, Lord God. We thank you for all your blessings. And we rebuke the enemy. We rebuke the demons, the fallen angels, the Nephilim, any evil spirits, any unclean spirits. We come against everything that's not of you, Lord God. We rebuke it. Uh, we bind it up. We send it to hell in Jesus' name. And it is under our feet. In Jesus' name. 
Lord God, I pray that we'd be the head and not the tail and that we would be strong in our faith and that we would move, Lord God, as your mighty church in these end times and that we would do what Micah 6, 8 says, God. I pray, Lord God, that we would do justice, love mercy, have mercy on those that don't do what's right and walk humbly with the Lord thy God. Let us walk humbly with you, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless y'all.